Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can research a token on Nansen. It's very, very simple. I'm going to do this on a very high level basis for you. So let's say you've got a token that you're interested in. What you can do is press Command K and then search for the token. But in this case, I'm just going to pick the very first token up on here on the Smart Money Token Inflow. So you first go to the pages Token God Mode page. If you're not sure what Token God Mode is or any other dashboard, you can see these eyes and they'll tell you exactly what is going on here. Token God Mode gives you an overview of everything related to that token. And there's some really interesting data points that you can look into. First, you can look at the price movement. And there's also this really powerful widget called who bought and who sold. This allows you to find the top buyers and sellers of the token that you're interested in over 24 hours and seven days. And you can also filter for smart money. I personally use this to find addresses that I might want to track later down the line. For example, this 30 day smart dex trader has bought over $200,000 worth of this token and I might be interested in it. So I'll go to the tab here and what I did there was I right clicked and I went to wallet profile of the token by pressing command click. This allows me to open up a new tab without having to go on and keep everything on the same page. I like to do this personally so that I can have multiple tabs so I can track different addresses and decide what I want to do on there. So what we can see here is that all the labels from this address, we can see that's smart money because of the emoji and we can see the balance over time. So let's look at their activity. What we can see is that two days ago and then one day ago, they were aggressively buying this token, Athena, in different types of slots. And that's what they totaled into the $250,000, whatever we saw earlier. And we can see that at the moment on their cost basis, they're up 16%. And I find this really interesting because in this example, I might be an Athena holder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna manage labels. I'm gonna add an additional label here and put ENA here. I'm gonna add the wallet to my watch list. And so this does two things. So the first thing it does is that now whenever I see this address throughout Nansen, I'll be able to see the custom label and I'll go, ah, I know this address is interesting because I looked at it and they had some interesting activity with Athena. And if I ever want to stay updated with the address, because I haven't decided how good it is yet, I can go to my watch list, which is in the sidebar, and I can see the address. I can then click on that address and see exactly what they're doing. In this example, we can see that they are highly profitable. They're a top dex trader in realized profits in the last 30 days. And we can see the interesting tokens that they hold. So you can see in this example how we went from one token and we used the who bought widget and we filtered for smart money and found an interesting trader. We repeat this process over and over again when we see different price movements. Let's say the token's gone up significantly. In this case, we can look at these top buyers and sellers over the time periods and go through these addresses to find if there's anything interesting for us. And then from that point on, what we will do is either set custom uh, labels to the addresses so we can stay updated to them, add them to our watch list, or even set up smart alerts. Smart alerts can be found here and that, they allow you to track the addresses in real time, whether they be on Telegram, Discord, or Slack. What I personally like to do is using custom labels for tokens to set an alert for those custom labels so that every address with that custom label can be tracked in real time so that I have a really interesting insight. I can see what they're doing in real time. I find that really, really useful. You can also see the DEX trades in real time here. So you can see the buying, you can see the excelling, you can see the information here. What you can also do is go to balances. This is a really useful tab when researching a token because you can see uh, the top balances by addresses or by entities. So this could be like an exchange. You can see Binance, Athena Labs, which is the tokens from different exchanges here, different investors, etc. And what you would like to do normally is when you go to look at the balances, you're really interested in seeing who the top holders are and what are they doing in real time? So if we go here, for example, we can see different addresses with different inflows, but we can see here that this is a contract. This is also a contract. So we're not surprised, for example, that there's been a significant inflow into this one here because it is for the principal staking with this token, Athena, and people depositing money into it. But then we're also interested in seeing what addresses are doing in real time. So this address here, G GSR, we can see a negative balance of over a million Athena, but they still hold quite a significant amount. What are they doing? Well, let's take a look. So again, we'll right click, command click on wallet profile of the token. This will open up a new tab and we can see what they're doing. So we can see there's been some volume in, some volume out, some more volume in, some volume out. And we can see that they're up 24%. So when we look at what they're doing, we can see that they've been transferring funds from different exchanges into their address 
and we're also seeing them transfer funds into different addresses. Maybe they're buying, maybe they're selling, maybe they're moving funds across the wallet. Because this is soft chain, we don't know, but you might want to stay updated with this wallet. So let's go back to the Binance tab. And what I usually recommend is that you tend to look into these addresses here to see if there's anything interesting. You can also apply different filters here. So you can filter by addresses, by labels, by custom labels. So remember when we set the address for Athena, so ENA, we can now see the address hopefully in there. What we can also do is set filters for smart money. I find this really, really useful as well. So what I'll do is do name by label and I'll put the smart money emoji in. I can press save. I can see all the smart money addresses right now who hold this token and their activity. But let's say I'm only interested in DEX traders. In this example, you are interested in addresses that are making money trading tokens. You can also set a label. So the labels that say, let's go for all the DEX traders. So you're only focusing on those. And then we're going to go to DEX here and Smart DEX Trader. So that's covers all our DEX Trader labels. And we can see these addresses here. So you're looking to make an entry or exit. And this 180 day Smart DEX Trader has seen the balance change completely from 666,000 all the way down to zero. Let's take a look at what they're doing. So again, we'll right click, go to Wallet Profile Token and open up a new tab. We can see that they're accumulating early and we can see the cost basis. We can also see the price that the has increased. And so what we can see here, what originally looked quite bearish because we saw the 666,000 tokens go from, from the address to zero, we can actually see here is that they've actually staked the address, staked the tokens. So they're actually looking to earn yield on the tokens and they are potentially longer term bullish. So again, what we can do is manage labels, assessment and lessons address. So that's really, really interesting. So let's just go here. I realized I wasn't sharing the tab. So let me just quickly walk through that again. So you can see all the activity here and there you go. And so let's go back to the balances tab. We also have activity for exchanges. This gives you an overview of what's happening on exchanges specifically with this token. And we also have the smart money tab, which is really, really cool. So you can see all the smart money addresses and the changes and so forth. So we go to every sort by balances. We can see the top holders. We see some funds here. We can see some text traders. We can see some popular people on social media and so on. We can see their activity, which is also very interesting. And we can also just see the overall view of what smart money is doing. So in this case, we have seen that the holders have been declining as well as balance holders declining. But as we saw with our 180 days smart dex trader, this might not represent, this might not actually be as bearish as we may think because some of these addresses are actually staking the token. For tokens that are on multiple blockchains, you can just go up here and you can click on the drop down here and you can see the chains. For example, if we look at the token prime, we can see that we can look at it on Ethereum or we can look on their base. So that's a quick high level overview on how you can look into a token on Nansen. If you have any questions, reach out to us on Twitter or email us at support at nansen.ai.